everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is very, very special. Mostly because today I'm filming this it is my birthday, September 17th. And I got some gifts. So in this video, we're gonna be unboxing all of the gifts I, that I got for my birthday. And right now we're gonna be starting with Animal Crossing New Horizons. You know, this game hasn't, or might have not blown up or anything. You know, it's definitely not like the hottest game right now uh, of the year. But yeah, let's just unbox it. So this is the box, Animal Crossing New Horizons for Nintendo Switch, rated E for everyone. Uh, the box art looks really nice. Uh, here on the back, we just have some more stuff about it. So how will you live your island life? Uh, yeah, this game has blown up this entire year. It's practically the biggest game of the year, considering that it has sold 22 million units and it hasn't even been a year since this game came out. It came out in March of 2020. Uh, I was really excited for this game, but I was I didn't get to pick it up when it first came out. Uh, but now, since it was my birthday, I got it as a gift. Uh, yeah, so let's unbox it. Also, there's gonna be a lot of ASMR in this video because most of the gifts I got were per, uh, video games. Uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, I couldn't find a knife for some reason. So, I have a pen. I'm just gonna cut through this. Okay, we don't need the pen anymore. I'm gonna hold it really close. Okay, pause the music. It's already not paused, but whatever. Okay. Okay, that was harder than I thought, not even gonna lie. It's been so long since I've gotten a physical video game. The last video game I got, I'm pretty sure was Super Mario Odyssey, even though I had already played it. Uh, my cousins have the copy of the game, so I played it when I went to their house. And then I got bored, so I wanted the digital version. So yeah, I know I'm crossing New Horizons for you. Now, let's open it up. Oh wow, dang, this is a waste of plastic, not even gonna lie. Uh, but anyway, we have Dodo Airlines, or whatever it's called. Um, we have the game card, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have some pictures. We have two villagers, uh, Dodo Airplane or something. I forgot what it's called. We have Nook Inc over here, Dodo Airlines. Yeah, uh, you can expect a lot more uh, gaming videos in the near future. So that's Animal Crossing. Now I'm gonna show the cartridge one time. So here's a cartridge close up. Focus camera, please. Ah, there. So this is a cartridge. Yeah, I guess. So on and on that, on to the next thing. So the second thing we're gonna be unboxing in this video is Super Mario 3D All Stars for the Nintendo Switch. So this part of the video is filmed on the 18th of September because this game came out uh, today. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Uh, well, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So this game, or should I say games, uh, these games uh, are in one compilation or uh, package. Uh, you get three games with it. You get Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario 64 came out for the Nintendo 64 back in 1996. This game, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, came out for the Nintendo GameCube. I'm pretty sure it's 2002. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway. Uh, and Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Wii. This came in 2007. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 was heavily rumored for this collection when the announcement will well, the rumors for this came out back in March. Uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2 was rumored a lot, but for some reason Nintendo didn't do it. But it doesn't really bother me because I already have the game on my original uh, on my original Wii. God, I can't talk. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's take a look at what we get. So I was able to order, well, well pre-order mine, uh, my copy, uh, at BestBuy.com. Uh, came day one so that's pretty nice 
Uh, Super Mario 3D All Stars. It's rated E for everyone. Uh, you get three games for the Nintendo Switch, obviously. Uh, jump, slide, and soar through Mario's 3D platforming history. Uh, as I said, you get uh, Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 2 isn't here, but again, I already have the game on Wii, so it doesn't really matter for me. As a nice little bonus, you also get uh, a bunch of uh, soundtracks for the games. So you get Super Mario 64 soundtrack, you get Super Mario uh, Sunshine soundtrack, and you get Galaxy soundtrack. Now, I love Galaxy soundtrack because it's like an orchestral uh, kind of theme, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for the box. Uh, so now, let's unbox this. I've been waiting for a long time. So I have a uh, different pen this time. I have a blue pen. Because uh, from Mario. I guess it should have been red and blue, but like, whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's just get through that. I'm gonna put this up here for some ASMR. Okay, uh, out of the video games I unboxed, this is definitely the most satisfying of the bunch. So now, let's see what we get inside. So, opening the box for the first time. I forgot about this part. Yeah. Okay. Opening the box. Dang, this looks nice. Uh, before we take a look at the cartridge, uh, this box already looks really nice. So we have a picture of the Super Mario 64 here. Get yeah, a uh, bunch of pictures. There's Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty clean inside the box. Now, before we take a look at the box, uh, the cartridge, I just want to say the North American version of the cartridge has been annoying a lot of people, and I, I can totally see why. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this might give some people some OCD. Or, yeah, so I'm trying to make this focus really quickly. So the logo is off centered, and then the rating for the game is pretty big. I don't understand why they did this. Like the European and the Japan version all have uh, the, they basically don't even have the rating on the cartridge, they just have the logo, and it looks pretty nice. But this one, for some reason, the logo, the logo is like off center, and then the rating is so big. It kind of looks weird, but eh, it's whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna put this back inside. So yeah, that is Super Mario 3D All Stars for the Nintendo Switch. Comment down below if you have gotten your order of Super Mario 3D All Stars. Uh, I'm really excited to play and show you my experience of this game because, I mean, Super Mario 64, if we didn't have that game, we wouldn't have modern day gaming. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to play it uh, and show my experiences, so let's get into the next thing. So what you just saw was me unbox Animal Crossing and Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Yes, I know, I somehow got Super Mario 3D All-Stars without it getting uh, sold out. But now we have a bit of a bonus. So basically, two of my really good friends got me gifts for my birthday, which was really unnecessary of them, but I appreciate the gesture, and if you're watching this, thank you very much. But anyway, one of the gifts my friend got me was Overwatch Reaper Power A Wireless Controller for the Nintendo Switch. So for those of you who don't know, I'm a really big fan of Overwatch, and I'm getting Overwatch on the Switch soon, so this is a perfect way for me to start playing Overwatch on the Switch. This is the Reaper design, and Reaper is my favorite hero in the game. Uh, he, has an he has an amazing moveset and all that, so yeah. So this controller runs on Powerade, uh, is a Powerade controller. It has two double, it uses two uh, batteries. It has two back buttons, which is really cool, and that's something you don't see on normal switch pro controller uh here's some other features 
Uh, it does not have HD rumble, which is kind of disappointing, but it's still a pretty good Switch uh, Pro controller alternative. It does have motion controls, which I am uh, lucky because Splatoon 2, is, Splatoon 2 is my favorite game of all time, and I use motion controls on it. So yeah, now let's unbox this beauty. So I am gonna be using the pen, uh, the sacred pen again. Also because I cannot find. Okay, so first, cut this open. Cut this open. And cut this open. Okay. So this is what we get inside. This some packaging. Oh, that feels nice. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side for a second. To get everything else out. We do get. We do get more plastic. Uh, two Energizer AA batteries. Pretty cool. And we get. The instructions. So let's compare the Switch Pro uh, Switch Pro controller to the Power A wireless enhanced. So before we compare the Power A enhanced wireless uh, with the uh, Switch Pro controller, I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, rundown of the controller. So this is the Overwatch Reaper design. I love the design. It has the Reaper emblem, and then it has a picture of uh, Reaper. It also has some red lines over here. Well, red emblem, not lines, I'm sorry. Uh, the buttons are, okay, the buttons do have a red accent, which is really nice. Uh, there's your plus and minus button, uh, home and capture, uh, D-pad feels nice. Uh, these are the back buttons, feels really nice. I am definitely going to be using these back buttons for like Fortnite and uh, Overwatch. Uh, triggers feel really nice. These triggers uh, don't feel as good as the Switch Pro controllers, but they're still really nice. I do like them a lot. Uh, shoulder buttons feel good. Everything's really clicky. Now, the uh, build quality is actually really good it's better than what I expected it is made out of a hard plastic but the red uh, texture over here it is a little like the red plastic over here it is a little textured so it feels way better than holding it uh, I guess yeah now let's compare it with the switch pro controller so on the right I have the switch pro controller and on the left I have the power rate enhanced wireless now let's go, uh, let's see some features that each of them don't have. So the Switch Pro Controller does not have any sort of back buttons or anything like that. It is, it has no back buttons at all. I have seen some like, concepts for back buttons, like a back button attachment. It's like what uh, Sony did earlier this year with the PlayStation 4 DualShock. However, this one does have two back buttons, which is gonna make it really useful for games that are compatible with the back ones. Uh, I really like that they added that. It makes it stand out a little. Uh, however, this controller does not have any form of HD rumble, which is kind of, it's, it's not a deal breaker, but I wish they could have just added some type of rumble. It would have made, it, it made this, this controller leagues better. Uh, but yeah. I mean, obviously the Switch Pro Controller does have rumble. The build quality of the Switch Pro Controller is a lot better. Buttons are clicky, all of that stuff. But you already know that, I've reviewed this before. Uh, yeah, so I guess that's it for the controllers. Uh, thank you if you're watching this. Thank you very much for getting me uh, the Switch Pro, uh, the Power Enhanced. It really means a lot, uh, yeah. Now let's unbox the next thing. Now the last thing we're gonna be unboxing for the video is 
Super Mario Maker 2 for a Nintendo Switch. Now, this game, in my opinion, is really, really cool. And my friend did give, give me this for my birthday. And if you're watching this, thank you very much, dude. Really appreciate it. But anyway, uh, it's basically uh, Mario level creator. So you get to design your own levels. You get to play other uh, people's levels. Uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, you get multiple styles, uh, design styles. You get the original Super Mario Brothers. Uh, you get Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario World, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, and Super Mario 3D World. Uh, so yeah, let's unbox this. So here's one last look at the seal. I have my trusty pen. Cut this right open. Put that right there. Okay, I'm gonna put this close for some ASMR. Get this. Okay. Just some preparations for the ASMR. Okay. Okay, that's satisfying. Uh, here is Super Mario Maker Two. Now let's take a look at what we get inside the computer. Now, I have heard, uh, I have heard people say that you get a stylus in this, uh, in the box. But I'm not sure about that because when I did a little research about the game, uh, it turns out that you only get a stylus with the European and, uh, Asian version. I think it's only European. Uh, but yeah, you only get a, I'm pretty sure you only get a stylus with the European version. But yeah, let's check. Oh dang, that, that looks, that looks really cool. So here we have Super Mario Maker. And then I'm guessing two, yeah. Uh, just gonna put the cartridge back. We have the cartridge here and then we have a really cool 8-bit, uh, you know, 8-bit drawing. Uh, we have Mario, we have Luigi, uh, there's a bullet bill, um, or a bonsai bill. Uh, here's an up close. We have a thwomp over there, piranha, uh, piranha plant. I don't know if that's a variant, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. So this is some really cool box art. Uh, yeah. So that's it for the gifts we got. Well, the gifts I got. I'm gonna close this up. So we have officially reached the end of the video. There are no more gifts unboxed. Uh, and as always, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. Uh, comment down below what you liked most in the video. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Backwards peace, I guess.